considering also to um, open uh, to, uh, international flights to connect Vietnam and certain uh, countries in the world and thousands and tens of thousands of people Vietnamese who have been stranded abroad now would be able to return home uh, but on uh, organized efforts uh, with by the government and schools across Vietnam would be opened and people are getting back to work uh, at their offices so life is slowly gradually getting back you know, to uh, daily routines and Vietnam uh, emphasize this is a gradual easing of the uh, restrictive measures in order to ease the economic pain and revive the economy after more than 20 days of uh, so, so safe distance measure in place. So what is the government's assessment of how badly hit Vietnam's economy was in that time and what is their strategy for recovery? Well, the uh, Vietnam economy has been crippled by all those impacts of the coronavirus and the measures in place to contain them. Vietnam GDP growth in the first quarter uh, has uh, recorded its slowest uh, uh, space in the last 10 years. So, But all those gradual easing of the restriction also aim uh, at the goal of to, to revive the economy. But the challenge is that Vietnam's economy is largely dependent on exports, uh, but the demand and the orders from Europe, from America, from the US and other parts of the world have been declining. So Vietnam government has been providing uh, tax breaks and credits and also rolled out a more than 1 billion US dollars uh, stimulus package for the enterprises, but it's still a long way to go uh, in terms of how those stimulus packages and uh, policies would help the local business and particularly small and medium sized enterprises. Well, Dong, you rightly pointed out to the fact that Vietnam is kind of caught with, you know, the, the dislocation around the world in supply chains. And so they won't be able to kickstart anything until uh, the rest of the world really is uh, getting back into action as well. But on the reinfection front, there are countries similar to Vietnam and on the other end of their supply chain that are very fearful now of a second or even third wave of infections for them. What is the government's uh, strategy for ensuring that there is no recurrence within Vietnam? You're right, even with the safe distance measure uh, has been removed now, uh, a certain number of preventive measures are in place before uh, are required to wear masks in public spaces uh, and people are um, you know, asked to keep some distance among themselves while they are in public uh, spaces and also the Vietnam health officials say that this is a golden opportunity, a buying time for Vietnam to prepare to increase its capacity in terms of uh, medical facilities and also the treatment facilities in preparation for any possible outbreak uh, down the road and so at the moment, Vietnam also uh, increased, um, um, apply very aggressive testing strategies in terms, in order to detect only any case of infection at the moment, and then they prepare the isolation facilities and also treatment hospital facilities in order to detect and isolate uh, the anyone that will be infected with the virus and anyone who will be involved with the infection. So. The Vietnamese government has been emphasizing this is uh, the war against the um, coronavirus not over yet. Uh, Vietnam has just won initial battles, but uh, the fight is uh, ongoing, and Vietnam uh, need to be uh, to get ready in order to continue to keep on this fight and at the same time to revive its economy as this is a stage of coexistence uh, with the coronavirus. Well, on a day like today, all eyes are certainly on Vietnam. Congratulations with that, and thank you for that update in Hanoi, Dong Nu. In the meantime, still in Southeast Asia and Indonesia, the fasting month of Ramadan begins tomorrow, but with lockdowns in the capital and provinces, many traditional rituals uh, during Ramadan will have to be curtailed. Our correspondent, Chani Babani, has more on how these restrictions will alter Ramadan for Muslims in the country.